In this video, I'd like to show you how to load new plasma.run files in iLite version 3. It's slightly different to version 2.5 in that we no longer require the .nrf files. Instead, we ask for a new format file. So let's see what happens if you try to import a .run file before creating your format file. I'm just going to load up uh, a .run file and we can see that it says, it says, could not find the format file for this file. It's looking for this particular one. Um, please create this file and then try reloading. So how do we create a new format file? Well, to start off with, you need to know the, the column names, um, the channel names for your .run file before you start. How do I know that? Well, one way you can do it is you can go to Excel and you can open one of your .run files. Make sure you choose delimited and choose comma and then you'll be able to see inside your .run file. And we can see there's a bunch of header information here, but then we get down to our data. Um, these last three file, last three columns are just, um, they're there in every file, um, but these are the ones that are actually um, contain our data. And you should know um, from when you've measured it what these are called. So in this case, we're measuring magnesium uh, isotopes. So this is magnesium 26, this is magnesium 25, and this is magnesium 24. So when we know that information, we can make our format file. So if we go back here to Igor, uh, to Iolite, and in this control here that says the new format file, if we click new, it'll ask us to select uh, one of our .run or .text um, time resolve data files. So if we click on one of our runs, and it'll bring up this table, and in this table, it's asking us to name the columns that we see in our .run file. Um, and it, you'll notice that these last three here um, are automatically named because it, it automatically recognizes those. Um, but these ones, you can see it also provides a little bit of uh, a few summary stats for the data in the file that we chose. And this is to help you choose, recognize which, um, which isotope you're looking at. So in this case, we know this is magnesium 26. So we need to name it and we do that by putting the element first and then the mass. You can uh, include a suffix, um, if you could think of one. Um, uh, let's say high gain. Um, now just for this example, we'll just use magnesium 26, magnesium 25, and magnesium 24. And now when we click done, it will create that new format file for us. And now if we open a, a .run file that uses that NRF file um, and click open, you can see that it now says it's loaded three channels from that file. And when we look in the Bassoons file, you can see that. So let's say we're in a new experiment. and we want to um, open the same sort of .run file, but from a different day. You can see here that it hasn't automatically selected one for us. Um, so what we do is we click edit and we can choose from our list of um, shortcut or sorry, format files that we've created in the past. past. Uh, we can select one of those, click continue, and then we can just import our file straight away. We don't have to create a format file every time we uh, want to import um, dot run files. It's only for the first time that you import a dot run file that has a new dot, uh, so a new NRF file. So I hope that explains it for you. If you have any troubles, um, please feel free to post to the forum and uh, we'll help you out. Thanks very much.